Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. This time we come from Group Six. We'll broadcast a video introduction to develop economic material. Before that, I will introduce the member of Group Six. Our member is Reski Mayla Putri, Mimi Filma Herita, and me Nurfadila Arifino. Our material is Economic Growth and Development Strategy and, and the last, Economic Development Planning. Before entering the material, we hope that all friends focus and concentrate on listening and seeing our material so that friends can understand the material well. Okay. I will explain about the economic growth and development strategy. The economic growth is an increase in the ability of an economy to produce goods and service. In other words, economic growth refers to changes that are quantitative in nature or quantitative changes and are usually measured using data on gross domestic products, GDP, or per capita output income. Okay, this is, is world economic growth, gross domestic product. You can see in the picture. The economic growth rate show the percentage increase in real national income in a certain years com compared to real national income in the previous years. The higher the rate of economic growth, the faster the process of increasing regional output so that the prospects for regional development are better. By knowing the sources of economic growth, development priority sectors can be determined. Okay, this is, there are three main factors or components that affect economic growth, namely, uh, A. Capital accumulation, B. Population growth, and C. Technological progress. Okay, now we talk about the economic development strategy. A. Balanced development strategy. A balanced development strategy can be interpreted as the simultaneous development of various types of industry so that the industry are mutually exclusive, create a market for others. And B. An unbalanced development strategy. This unbalanced development strategy was put forward by Albert U. Hirschman and Paul Sredin. According to them, unbalanced development is a development pattern that is more suitable for accelerating the process development in NSB. Okay, the next material about economic development planning. Economic development planning is the control and regulation of an economy to achieve certain goals and objectives within a certain period of time. There are three products adopted by development, namely change, growth, and improvement. The next element of economic development planning. The main element of economic development planning includes is basic policy or basic strategy development plan there is a macro planning framework description of a consistent policy framework such as fiscal monetary development price and other sectoral policies estimation of resource for development in particular the source of development financing and the last development planning is an investment program carried out by sector. What is purpose of economic development planning? Such as improves use of available public resources, directing activities, activity guidance that to achieve development goals, improve the capacity of the private sector to create value for private resources responsible for the benefit of developing society as a whole. Give the opportunity to make the best size. There is an estimate of potential development prospect, obstacle, and risk for the future. Priority scale is arranged 
by or in term of the importance of objective and the last as a measuring tool or standard for supervision. The mean is just like a muscle, the more you exercise it, the stronger it gets and the more it can expand.